We love Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and you should too. Today we're going to be discussing Mockingbird. We were introduced to Bobby Morse in the second season of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. She is very similar to her comic book counterpart as well. She fights with two batons, just like Mockingbird in the comics, and in season three, we also see her in the lab helping Fitz because of her injury, showing that she probably has a biology degree as well. So who is Bobby Morse, AKA Mockingbird? Barbara Bobby Morse first appeared as a background character and a later love interest to Kazar, the infamous hero of the Savage Land. During her first appearance, she is looking for Kazar, telling his butler that she has urgent news for him that could save his life. But the butler reveals to her that he is in the Savage Land, his home country, so she heads off to the Savage Land to find him. She heads there with Dr. Paul Allen, but the plane crash landed and Paul was saved by Kazar while Barbara managed to parachute out of the plane before the crash. Paul tells Kazar that him and his fiance Barbara are looking for him. And when they are finally reunited with Barbara, we learn that she is actually an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. and that her engagement to Dr. Paul was all a sham to find out if Paul was involved with AIM, an evil villain organization, and of course he was. With the help of Man-Thing, a swamp-based monster that guards the multiverse, they defeated Dr. Paul and headed to New York where she helped Kazar defeat a man who stole a sample of the Super Soldier Serum. Kazar then headed back home to the Savage Land. As a freelance agent, Barbara, who preferred to go by Bobby, met Clint Barton, aka Hawkeye. The two of them worked together to lure Captain America out of retirement by disguising themselves as criminals known as Morgan and the Golden Archer. Bobby then ends up being recruited by a US Senator in order to investigate one of the Latin American branches of S.H.I.E.L.D., who they believed had become corrupt. To do this, she dropped out of S.H.I.E.L.D. and became the Huntress, not to be confused with DC's Huntress. At first, she did this for the single mission, but after this, she became a sort of internal affairs for S.H.I.E.L.D. and she took the name Mockingbird. This name came about because she loved to taunt her opponents during battle. She later teams up with Spider-Man where she ends up being injured and placed into a coma, removing her from storylines for a while. She later shows up again during a Hawkeye storyline fully recovered from her injuries. Clint Barton is the chief of security of Cross Technological Enterprises, where Bobby was sent to investigate a corruption within the company. The two butt heads at first, but Clint realizes he's being foolish and teams up with her to take down the villain Crossfire together. And this started their relationship, which ended up with them eloping in the Pocono Mountains. They then returned to the Avengers, where Hawkeye was appointed the head of the West Coast Avengers, and he placed Bobby on the team. As a member of the West Coast Avengers, she ended up in a crazy time travel adventure where she was forced to fall in love, ended up being treated like a goddess, breaks the no-killing code, and eventually ends up off the roster of the West Coast Avengers and onto the reserve of the regular Avengers. Since then, she has appeared many other times helping the Avenger teams as well as S.H.I.E.L.D. Her and Clint even got back together for some time, but ultimately split apart for good. She ended up as a part of the Secret Avengers, where AIM brainwashed her. When she broke free, she ended up having to live under the radar with Daisy Johnson, aka Quake. Sound familiar? Her most recent appearance in the comics is in the all new, all different Marvel run, where she is helping Spider-Man track down the Zodiac. Bobby doesn't have any superpowers, but she is very skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat. She graduated at the top of her class in S.H.I.E.L.D. training, and she tends to fight with a pair of batons. She also has a PhD in biology and was injected with an experimental serum to save her life, which seems to have given her enhanced strength and agility. So with Bobby having such a history with Hawkeye, and with her being confirmed to be in the new Captain America movie, Will we get to see some kind of involvement with the two? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below, and be sure to follow us on Twitter at ComicStorian or at DanTEditor. I'm Dan with CTV, and I will see you guys next time, right here.